Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's Daily Video Devo. Renee here with Pastor Rodney Smith of First AME Church in Oakland. We are here at uh, the harbor, as you can see, as part of a pastor's conference. And, uh, you know, we've been talking at Twin Lakes Church about how we've been privileged to be part of a group of churches helping to support First AME Oakland after their devastating fire. And so Rodney's a part of this conference, and I know that you would want to be updated on how they're doing, what their plans are. And so uh, I'll ask you two questions, Pastor Smith. First, how's the church doing and what are your plans for rebuilding? But then secondly, what has the Lord been teaching you through all of this? Well, Pastor Renee, first, let me thank you for your kindness, your church, your prayers. There's nothing worse than feeling like you're by yourself. Mm, and fortunately, we do not feel like we're by ourselves. So thank mm. you for wow. your leadership. You are very welcome. And your prayers and your church. Um, the church burned down about two months ago. We've been meeting at Temple Beth, a Jewish synagogue. Our brothers reached out to us. Mm. Um, and it has been tough for our congregation. So many weddings and funerals mm. and mm. baptisms and all of those memories at the church. And one thing that we have learned through this process is the church is just a building. The truth is the true church of Jesus Christ is in our hearts. Amen. And this has really challenged us to really become the church, mm -hmm. which is what you're doing, showing mm -hmm. love to me and our congregation. Mm -hmm. And so we are going through the process that you go through, taking each step by step. But we definitely feel the presence of the Lord and we definitely feel our brothers and sisters mm -hmm. who have been praying for us. Well, I appreciate that. And we are praying for you and we'll yeah. continue to pray for you. Looking forward to these updates. Too. Absolutely. You know, God can use catastrophes like this to bind us together yep. in amazing ways. And yeah. I think that's what God's doing here. Yeah. Well, let me ask you what may be a harder question. How has God been using this in your own life? It's pretty devastating as a pastor yeah. uh, to lose your church building. I, I know a building's not the church, but that's yeah. still tough. Ironically, uh, this is my second year. To, I've been in the Bay Area two and a half years. I moved here from uh, Georgia to mm -hmm. uh, be the lead pastor of the church. When I saw the flames coming up out of the ceiling at our church, I heard God say, be still and know that I am God. Mm. And so what God is teaching me is there are a lot of things that we don't understand. Mm. Anybody who's going through something, mm. maybe you have some challenges, maybe you have some mountains, mm. but when you're still, when you stop mm. judging what it looks like, mm. when you really just stand in the presence of the Lord, mm. God will reveal his plan to you. Mm. And so that's where I'm at. I am mm. being still, I am being patient, and I am allowing God to do God's business. Mm. Listen, I am here yeah. because of being still mm. and letting God merge me with men and women who love him. Mm. And so sometimes things look looks rough, Mm -hmm. But that roughness mm -hmm. has a purpose. Why, that's hard to do, though, when we're in <laughs> catastrophe. That's hard to do in life in general. But when stuff's going wrong, when you when you when the doctor told you that cancer test came back positive, or when you had a fire, or when you just had an accident, that's hard to do. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, what's the key to that? What's the key to when things are going wrong, being still and staying centered? What do you think? Release. Let go mm. and trust. Mm. Release, mm. let go, mm. and trust. The, the word of the Lord says in Jeremiah, I know the plans that I have for you, mm. says who? Says the Lord. Be still and know that I am God. And so when we release what something looks like and we say, okay, God, this is beyond what I mm. can do or my level of knowledge, and we give it over to God, mm then we give it over to the person who knows how to navigate those rough times. Amen. That's a good word. Thank you yeah. so much, Pastor Rodney, and, and appreciate you all too. Have a great day, and remember to be still and know that he is God, especially when things aren't going the way you planned today. God bless. God bless.